Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today I'm talking about the Dell G7 and why I like this gaming laptop. Now, this is the successor from the Inspiron gaming laptop from last year. I think it was like the 5,000 or something. But the G7 is a 15-inch gaming laptop from Dell. It's cheaper, well-priced, something you can pick up. Started at $1,099, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, it comes with an 8-generation processor, quad-core. You can get up to 16 gigs of RAM, so you can go from 8 to 16. And, of course, your storage options increase as well. Either SSD or hard drive mixed with an SSD which is fabulous. Now, why I like this laptop is number one, it's white with the blue Dell logo. I do like that and I like the trimming and design. It's a bit on the heftier side, so it's about, yeah, 6.3 pounds, uh, which is not bad for a gaming laptop, but it still has some weight to it, so you just gotta be mindful of that. Uh, in terms of ports, when you look around it, it's got uh, a power port, uh, Ethernet, a USB, uh, as well as uh, SD card reader on the left-hand side for the Kensington lock. And on the right-hand side, we do have HDMI Thunderbolt, which is nice, and two more USBs and a headphone jack. So you've got all that built into this laptop. Um, now, this has a GTX 1060 Max-Q which means you should get some really good gaming performance. And it's got a 1080p display, which is nice. So that helps with battery life, performance, all the way through, mix and match. Now you said battery life. How's the battery life, Thunder It's good. It's good for a gaming laptop. I would say I've gotten about maybe about three to four hours, which is not fantastic, but uh, I can get about four hours on this thing. Uh, but when you're using this mostly for gaming or at least for performance where you want to plug it in because you're going to use more of the cores there. And while gaming, this thing handled very, very well. Playing Call of Duty, you can see the performance. There were no frame rate drops. I went on max. It was actually solid. I did try the new Battlefield 5. Sorry. I don't have a video, you can see me playing, but I kind of lost that footage from my other camera. But anyway, it still worked well with that, as well as also games like the new Dying Light uh, Bad Blood, which also ran really well on the system. Doom ran well. It just plays well, and it's a clean, solid performer. Now, you've got a nice keyboard, although some may not like it because it's got really soft keys. It's one of those keys that it takes me a little bit to get used to. Trackpad is a nice size, a little bit too much the left-hand side, but it's very usable. It's not the best trackpad, but it's quite usable, better than most. You still want to use your gaming mouse with this while you're using this um, uh, this uh, gaming laptop. I think the performance though has been really, really solid. That's the one thing I like about this. I think you get a really good performance base on this. And if you're looking to basically save costs, because maximum you want to go with, the max pricing is 1600, uh, you're going with 16 gigs of RAM and the max storage, uh, you're still getting a really good performer here. Again, with a Core i7, you're getting uh, the Max Hue 1060. You can do anything you want. You can edit your videos, you can edit photos on here. Uh, you can also play your games to your heart's delight. So that's why I really like this device. So if you have any questions and comments about the G7 and why it is a solid performer and you love me playing games and me dying like crazy, let me know. Otherwise, definitely go pick it up. Use our link down below. I think you definitely like this laptop. It's one of a kind, it's really solid. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.